Hello darlings, my name is Nikima and we are Spain Homes. Today I am in the peaceful and beautiful Spanish town of El Fondo de los Neos or On Don de los Nieves or Gorge of the Snow in English. This beautiful town is just west of Alicante, just 15 minutes away from Elche and 33 kilometers away from Alicante city and airport. It is a beautiful town that is known as a wine producing area, a region nestled in a beautiful valley overlooking the Vinalopo River. So for that, I'm going to be showing you some beautiful properties that have newly built. This is a construction project offering independent villas. The plot is 243 square meters and the actual villa itself is 229 square meters. They offer four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and well, I can't wait to show you the tour. So in this beautiful town that I'm going to also go and explore, I'll get on with the tour. From the main pedestrian entrance, as you come into the property, it immediately invites you into the exterior living spaces for the home. As the project is currently still under construction, I can show you some of how the gardens will be and terraces, but the finished project will obviously be in near future. Now, as you can see here, you have the swimming pool, which is a plunge pool, perfect for those days when it's really hot, and you also have here a shower for the comfort of the swimmers. On this side, this side will be dedicated to an outdoor kitchen area with its own outdoor barbecue. What I love is that this will be the terrace where you would open these doors and have a full integration of your living room and your outdoor lounging spaces. And then over here, you can see where you have your shaded entrance to the property. As they have gone for it to be eco-friendly, you can see that there is the natural stone facade on the front. And then there would be this continuation of your garden perimetering your home. But as I said, because of construction, there is only so much I can show you at this time. Hello. So as I come in through the front door entrance, I come through the door and I am met with a nice, warm, light and neutral entry hall, which leads me really beautifully into the interior main living space for the ground floor of the home. So, as you can see, I am stood in what is the open plan living room, dining room and kitchen. It is very open, the feel, and gives you an expanse from one end of the home to the other. And the space is 50 square meters with a ceiling height of 2.6 meters. As you can see, they have accents of white as well as wooden tones throughout. You have large patio doors on one side that open out and give you access to your terraces. Here in the dining space, you will see that they have put a table that's set to dine for, and it also leads to the smooth integration of your kitchen. The kitchen has storage appliances, um, top and bottom. So you have your microwave, storage cabinets on the top, for example, more cabinetry below, as well as your cooking hob, extractor hood and oven here. And then here is your dishwasher. And all the kitchen appliances are Whirlpool, your sink, and in this corner they have decided to put the refrigerator. Here is a back door that would lead to your gardens. I have to use a little bit of imagination with the garden spaces at the moment because they're currently under construction. And then on this side, this cupboard is housing the aerothermic boiler on one side, as well as your washing machine on the other. Now, taking you from the kitchen space, along this beautiful separation here that they have got for the stairway, 
I'm now going to take you into the hall and show you the rest of the ground floor. So as we go along the hall, you will find this wooden flooring throughout, which gives it a seamless tone. It leads to a guest powder room, which is fully equipped. And then next to that, you have the first of four bedrooms. This bedroom is 13 square meters. It is light and bright. On one wall, you have your integrated wardrobes and on the other, you have a large window. There, you also then find that there is a doorway that leads to an ensuite bathroom. I do like the intelligent design of this home because all of the bedrooms come with a bathroom. Coming up to the first floor, again I have this light and brightness that is illuminating the hallway. I'm now going to take you to the second bedroom. This bedroom gives you a really nice feel with the ensuite bathroom on one side as you enter, which is fully equipped. You also then have adjacent to the bathroom your wall of integrated wardrobes. And then it leads to the actual bedroom space which is 15 square meters. You have a large window on one side. Up here on the upper floor, the ceiling height is the same. It is 2.6 meters. And you will also notice they have great accents here with the LED lighting and the interior design upstairs. So I'm now gonna take you out of this bedroom and back into the hall. And in this hallway, you will also see that this is the door that leads to the upper floor terrace, okay? So this is another bedroom I'm going to take you through and as you enter this bedroom again you will find that there is your ensuite bathroom that is fully equipped on one side you also have your integrated wardrobes on the other wall and then it leads to the bedroom space which is 14 square meters this space is the primary I would say because it has a private access to its own terrace the terrace is offering 45 square meters. As I come down to the basement, I am met with uh, <laughs> another space. And this I love because they have really maximized what you can get down here. So down here you have the basement, which is in this area, 50 square meters. They have created zones. They have here another lounge space, another space for relaxation. They also have on this side, a dining space that is actually set to dine, well, six, no, eight, eight people. I love this fixture here. Overlooking that, I love the back, the back of the basement actually, it lets in natural light. So you have a little terrace here. And then you also have a guest bathroom, which is fully equipped and tiled from floor to ceiling. Across the way, you will find that there are also two other rooms. So they have decided in this home to have the additional fourth bedroom. And this bedroom is 16 square meters. It again lets in natural light. They have gone for the minimal design in terms of the color palettes again, and they also have there a patio door that leads to the terrace. This space would be perfect um, as it's 10 square meters and could be an additional storage room or utility room. The options are endless. 
I mean, can you believe that? For 330,000, you could have a space, a home that is independent and gives you four bedrooms. It's incredible. So the nitty gritty, the property tax or EB is approximately 500 euros per year. There is no community fee and the refuse is approximately 150 euros per year. This home is a fantastic home if you like detail with eco living, sustainability and eco friendly. All of the properties within this project come with a basement and construction will be coming to an end very soon. I do think for the price point it is fantastic as it gives you a wealth of possibilities having that basement and also the fact that all of the bedrooms come with their own ensuite bathroom. So if you're experiencing um, a weekend or a week or a month where you've got lots of people coming to stay, it's a great option. Also, this is a peaceful area. So if you're looking for a no fuss approach to life, you're wanting to have this quieter pace and still have great access to beaches just 15 minutes away, then this is a really beautiful place to live. And so if you would like to see any more of the finer details, please don't forget to go to our website, which is spainhomes.estate. And yes, I'll be happy to see you next time. Hasta pronto.